Hello everyone and thanks for joining me. I've been asked to do a test on the Lensgo 318C2, the Valier wireless microphone. And on the box it tells me that it can be used continuously for about seven hours, depending on the working environment, and it has an operating range of up to 100 metres face-to-face -face in an open environment. So let's see what's in the box. Hi, and thanks for joining me. This is always the interesting part, isn't it? <laughs> so we have an instruction manual, some further instructions on a small card. The instructions are in English and Chinese. It is a Chinese product, which won't surprise many of us. So there's a little packet here. This is the actual microphone, if I can get it out of the box. <laughs> It's quite a clever system, it's magnetic. These are the transmitters and this part is the receiver. So what we have in the pouch, there are some cables. <laughs> so basically we have a charging cable. We have two other cables one of these is for connecting to a camera and the other is for connecting to a mobile phone. And we have two crocodile clips. This is quite a clever system. What actually happens is that you can put the crocodile clip on yourself. They actually recommend... <laughs> They actually recommend it be up high, but I tend to use them here. And this will just clip on like that. It's so easy to use. It's very good, very clever system. And as I say, you get two transmitters and one receiver. Price-wise, it's at the budget end of the market. The current price that I've seen quoted is £79. Now, Lensgo do other products as well, which are far more expensive, but I've not been asked to look into those, so I'm just going to talk about this particular system and test this system. Shortly, I'll go out and I'll do some outside tests and we'll see how we get on. But to tell you a little bit more about it, I've made a few notes. <laughs> it's a 2.4G dual-channel wireless microphone one button operation, high quality sound and stable performance. It's got a built-in omnidirectional radio grade sound head, magnetic clip fittings as I've shown you. You can monitor the output through headphones. So someone could be actually monitoring the sound that's being recorded from the person that's speaking. When it's actually charging, the green light on the receiver will be on and the red light on the end of each transmitter will be flashing. The microphone also has intelligent noise reduction built into it. What I really need to do is get out and give this a test. So that's what I'm going to do now. I think the first test I'm going to do I'm actually going to leave the transmitter on the camera and walk outside. Now I'm in a steel boat, I'm in a narrow boat made of steel and it'll be interesting to see how it records. What I haven't yet said is there's nothing mentioned about mono or stereo. So I'm presuming these are mono recorders. And the other thing is there is no wind muff. That is it. <laughs> so, uh, 
but we'll see how we get on. It's a very neat system, very easy to slip in the pocket. Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> to connect the receiver, I unplug the microphone already attached to the camera. I take the cable and I plug it into the output on the receiver and I plug it in here. Now there is a hot shoe fitting on here but I'm just going to leave it loose for the moment. To switch the transmitter on it's just a simple matter of holding this button in for three seconds and the blue light will start flashing. So I'm just going to clip this on here. Simple as that. Well I'm good to go now so I'm going to walk outside the boat. I'm going to keep talking and we'll see how well it records. Bearing in mind the camera is within a steel structure. So I'm just walking to the back of the boat now. Up the steps, stepping out onto the jetty. So I'm walking alongside my boat. It's a beautiful day. At the moment I'm near the firebox, a short distance from my boat. I'm now coming back again and I'm back. I had a bit of a problem with that recording, so I'm just doing it again. I'm walking to the back of the boat, I'm stepping out onto the jetty. I'm walking alongside my boat. I'm coming up to the pontoon now. I'm bearing to the right. I'm going up to the little car park. It really is a glorious day. So I'm now walking back. Be interesting to see how this is recording. Just coming down the steps. Now turning back onto my own jetty. I'm stepping onto the boat. Oops, I <laughs> just banged my head. <laughs> That's not very good, is it? Here I am back again. <laughs> Be interesting to see how that's come out. So really that's a very quick test of how not to use it because it is a question of being face to face. But I was still quite impressed because the camera is inside the boat and I was outside. When I got up onto the roadway it stopped it didn't actually stop recording, but it was very fuzzy. So I'm now outside the boat. But when I was certainly 10, 15 meters away from the boat, the clarity of sound was very good. So I'm going to go outside now, do some further testing face to face and see what it's like up to 100 meters. I've measured the distance to the bin using digital mapping. I know I'm about 100 meters distance. That is the maximum that is quoted for the microphone system, 100 meters face to face. So I'm now going to walk up there and give it a test. So here goes. <laughs> I'm walking away from the camera now. It's a beautiful day, absolutely glorious. Blue skies. Now I've got my back to the camera, so I'm not technically face to face. So I'm about half distance, so I've turned around. I'm now facing and waving to the camera. So I can see where I'm going, I've turned around again. I'm still walking, just going over the sleeping policeman. Still got a distance to go. I'm waving back to the camera. I'm carrying on up to the orange bin. Right, so I'm now at the bin. 
It'd be interesting to see how well that comes out. We've got a clear line of sight. We're face to face and I know we're about 100 meters away from the camera. So I'm going to start walking back now. I'll keep talking just so that we can pick up if there's any interference and when it comes and how it comes and that sort of thing. There's hardly any wind today. I can't really notice anything moving at all. It's very still. So I'm hoping we're getting a good, clear sound quality. I'm about half the way back now. The turbine isn't turning. <laughs> but yes, it is totally glorious again. Less clouds, there weren't many clouds yesterday, but even less clouds today than there were yesterday. It's wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Right, so here I am back again. I'll be interested when I listen and see how well the sound recording has come out. But I just wanted to give some initial thoughts on my testing so far. I think without a doubt, we have demonstrated that the 100 meter line of sight works very well indeed. The clarity was very good. One thing I haven't mentioned is that there's no guidance given on how to set the volume in the camera. I had it set on auto and I've listened back to some of the clips and I think where I'm very close, I've listened through earpieces and there is a bit of fuzz there. So I've now changed the settings and done another test. I've set it on to manual and lowered the volume right down. Mine doesn't have a graded 1 to 25 or anything like that. It's just graded lines and I'm on sort of line 2 up from the bottom. And I've done the test and I think it's far better. So I think headphone users at this point might notice a difference. The other thing to mention is that I do need to do some testing in the wind because at the moment I've no idea if there'll be any fuzz or anything like that picked up. It's a very still day today so not the best day to do that sort of testing. And I also need to test using the system with a mobile phone. I have an iPhone so I will use that for testing as well. So I'll report back on these things a bit later. Probably be a different day, I should think. I'm pleased with what I've done so far. It seems to me to be a very impressive product at a budget price. To use an Android or iPhone, you'll need to use this special adapter. Now this adapter is a TRRS fitting. It's slightly different to the other end. <laughs> the cable you use for the camera has two of these, whereas this is a different fitting. Now, if you have an iPhone, as I do, you'll know that you need to have an adapter as well for the lightning socket. So what I do is I plug this one into here and then I plug that into my phone, like that. <laughs> and the other end, oops, the other end will go into the output of the receiver. So that's how you set it up. I'm going to go and experiment with that now. I'm going to do a test record with my iPhone. I'm under the canopy of my boat. I'm just going to walk through my boat to the front of the boat. I'll keep talking and then I'll come back again and we'll see how well it's recorded in this short demonstration, as it were. So see you in a moment. So I'm walking through my boat, just passing the galley. I'm now passing the dinette and into the saloon. 
So I'm at the front of my boat as far as I can go. I'm now walking back again. Passing the dinette. Coming up to the shower room, passing that. And I'll soon be back with you. <laughs> Here I am again. <laughs> Let's see how well that recorded. I think that test within the boat worked very well. I'm now going to do a test outside. I'm doing another test using the wireless microphone just past the camera. Now going over the speed hump and I'm turning onto the steps that lead down to the jetty. Let's see how that's come out. Just walking back to get the camera. I say camera, it is of course my <laughs> iPhone. So here I am to pick up the camera. Be interesting to see how that's come out. <laughs> I've mounted the camera on the roof of the boat with the LensGo receiver attached to it. I am wearing the microphone. I'm now going to walk along over to the firebox over there. I want to do some recording in the wind. It's not very windy today, unfortunately. I had hoped that the reeds here would rustle and that would help a bit. <laughs> so I'm here now. There's not much noise at all, actually. Not much noise at all. Actually, I can hear the, the reeds. So let's have a listen. That noise in the background is actually some work going on to build a new solar farm. It's probably about half a mile away. It's a beautiful day. We've had four beautiful days in a row. I'll just walk up here. Try and get some wind noise from somewhere. <laughs> Not easy, is it? When you don't want the wind, you have it. And when you want it, you can't find it. Let's see how well it picks up the bird song. I wonder if it picked that up. That was a lovely bit of bird song. I'm stood by the reeds here. They are rustling a little bit. I wonder what happens if I blow on the microphone. <laughs> so I'm walking back to my boat now. What a really glorious day it is. Mustn't hark on about that, must I? For four days in a row, that is quite something quite something. Let me just wander up this jetty here. Must make sure I don't fall off. <laughs> Look at that sunshine. Wonderful. There's the boat there. I'll go for a little further walk, see if we can find some wind. I think I really need to call it a day with regard to wind hunting. <laughs> we'll see how that's come out anyway. Back to the boat I'm going. Oh, that sun is bright. It's a very, very cold day. <laughs> I'm going to have another go at trying to record the wind. 
there is some wind, particularly when you walk about. So let's see how I get on. I feel as though I'm walking into some wind. The crunchiness is underfoot as I walk on the stone chippings. Yes, I'm definitely in the wind now. As I walk towards the camera, I can feel the wind hitting me. So I wonder what that will come out like. I'll just try it one more time. I'm going to move the camera. <laughs> there is a wind blowing at me. I can feel it. This should be quite a good test, I think. Yes, the wind's a little bit stronger now. There's the rustling behind me of the reeds. Well, I think we'll call it a day with the wind testing. <laughs> I've done my best. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave it there for the moment. I think it's time I summed up the Lensgo Wireless Lavalier microphone that I've been testing. I've been very impressed with it. It is a budget model. The current price is £79. I think it's very convenient to use. Oops! <laughs> so convenient it slipped out of my hand there. <laughs> but it's a very clever system with the way these just clip on like this. You switch them on very easily, just hold the button in for three seconds or likewise on the receiver. You've seen the live testing. I think it's gone very well. Certainly the 100 meters test was very worthwhile and there was no interference at all. I know I'm about 100 meters distance. So I think their claim to 100 meters line of sight or face to face as they call it, is very accurate. One thing I haven't mentioned is that there is a reverb function, which I'm not really into and I haven't tested that. But I have tested it with my iPhone and that worked well. And I have tried to test it in the wind, <laughs> but it's not been too windy. But to be honest, I think the wind noise it picked up was only what would normally be expected. So on the whole, we have to remember, of course, that it's not just for use outside, it is for use inside. We have to remember that. And I think on the whole, it's a very good system. For a budget price system, I think it's marvellous. I think it's done a wonderful job. I'd like to thank Lensgo for giving me the opportunity to test their product. I do get to keep it, but I hope you will agree with me that with the live testing I have proved that it is a good system and I'm not just making it up. I've done as best I can to demonstrate to you how it works and that it does what it says it will do. At the end of my summing up I will publish some tables which show various parameters. There are receiver parameters, transmitter parameters, system parameters, <laughs> microphone parameters. So I will publish those because that may be of interest to some of you. <laughs> it's a little bit too technical for me. That's why I haven't gone into those details individually. There will be a link in the video description to where you can buy the Lensgo microphone. There'll be a UK one and a US one, so you might find that of some use. You can go straight into the video description in YouTube, click on the link and get access to it. All that remains for me, as usual, is to thank you all for watching. Wish you well. I hope you're looking after yourselves, your friends and families. Take the utmost care. Until next time. Bye for now.